were looking to purchase camping passes on through the app offer up that's when kelly quinn and her friends found this listing for this summer's watershed country music festival the seller wanted a 250 dollars deposit from kelly's friend so she sent the deposit through the cash app but it was rejected so then the person on the other end he was like do you have the zelle app and i'm no, I had not heard of it. The Zelle app is what's called a peer-to-peer -peer payment app. Think of it like Venmo or the Cash app. The idea is instead of actually using physical money, you instead use your cell phone using as little information as an email address or a phone number. Convenient for friends, and in Kelly's mind, convenient for fraud. It's simple, and you think that it would be a good thing, convenient. You see where this is going? Not, not in this case. Kelly sent the money, hasn't heard back from the seller, and later found out that rejected cash app transaction was flagged as fraud. And then I come to find out that he's a complete scam. Kelly said the thing about Zelle is she thought it gave her a sense of security. Now when you go to set it up, it takes you directly back to your bank. And you set it up all through your bank. So you have that confidence that this is this is backed by my bank. I'm going to be protected. No problem. It's of course never that easy. Kelly is asking her bank for a refund, but she's not counting on it. Instead, she's calling out apps like Zelle. I'm accountable for pressing send, but they're also accountable for making it easy, easy for scammers to in Linwood to take advantage. I'm Ryan Takea. I'm pissed. Yeah. King Five News.